have, um, we've got Cassie, Pansy and Phil um, and they are three of our um, long term residents here um, and they share in common um, something called the Foster Scheme and what that entails is Dogs Trust will pay for any medical treatment um, for a dog that's on the foster scheme um, and these dogs are aged six, six and seven and so um, at this sort of age um, in a dog's life they can um, possibly develop conditions such as arthritis and therefore we'd like to give uh, potential adopters um, a peace of mind that they don't have to worry about veterinary fees, that Dogs Trust will cover um, any medical condition they may incur. We're very lucky that our turnover is, is very healthy um, but you know from time to time for various reasons there are dogs that come into us and um, become a long-term resident um, despite our efforts um, that that just happens sometimes so you know um, what we want to do is just bring um, to, to people's attention that these dogs because they're a little bit older we don't want them to stay in kennels and we don't want people to be put off by the fact that because they're a bit older insurance etc and medical fees um, can be a little bit off-putting but, but that's something that they don't have to worry about so yeah we'd like to see these guys in homes. Cassie is a, a seven-year-old uh, female lab cross um, and she's looking for um, a home where uh, there wouldn't be any other dogs and, uh, and no cats. She can live with children over the age of 10 years um, but she would require new owners to have um, a car um, and also a garden. Uh, the reason for this is because um, Cassie uh, struggles with um, being walked in dog friendly park areas. She'd be much better walked in locations that are a lot quieter and not so many dogs around. So hence we'd need them to, to own a vehicle to take her to these locations. And also having a garden she can potter freely um, as she pleases then for a little bit of exercise. So, uh, she's a lovely girl, she's very affectionate once she gets to know you as you can see with uh, Sarah here who uh, uh, spends a lot of time with her um, that she's uh, a very loving girl and particularly fond of her treats I'm sure she's getting plenty there <laughs> We're not entirely sure why it's taken so long to find her a home. Um, sometimes black dogs um, don't seem to be as appealing to, to people um, and perhaps because of her age, because she's seven, um, they may feel that um, they're not going to have as long with an older dog. Some people, some people aren't so keen um, when they get to that sort of age but as you can see she's still full of life um, and, and lots of fun and she'd be a very loving dog to have so we'd love somebody to uh, come forward and offer Cassie a home. Phil here is six years old. He's um, one of our sponsor dogs. He lives here in one of our flats, like we like to call them, with five other dogs. But he is actually looking for a home. He would benefit from a really nice quiet environment, so not um, too busy, not someone that would have a lot of visitors around. Um, he's actually looking for somewhere where they'll just be adults because Although he's really friendly when he gets to know you, we think the hustle and bustle that children can bring and teenagers can bring um, would just be too much for him. Um, he couldn't live with a cat, I'm afraid. He would benefit from having um, a car around because he likes to travel to really quite um, quiet locations. Um, he doesn't get on with all dogs that he meets, so he needs somebody that's going to go to rural places and enjoy the countryside with him rather than trying to socialise him. As I said, he does live with five other dogs here and sometimes when he meets them over a period of time he can get on with them really nicely, but we don't want to put too much pressure on his new owners, so we, we feel that if they could avoid that then that would be better for him. This is Pansy that we've got here with us and um, she's a seven year old female collie. Um, Pansy is also on our foster scheme. Um, this is because of her age so again this means that Dogs Trust would pay for any potential medical conditions that she may develop um, although she's a very healthy girl um, at the moment. Um, Pansy is looking for um, a home where there aren't any cats and um, she can live with children over the age of seven years. Um, she's okay with some dogs, however um, her new owners would need to um, be with her when she exercises in the garden if they have one because um, Pansy's got springs on the bottom of her feet as you're probably seeing there and she can quite easily jump a six foot fence so she would need to stay on a lead um, when exercising in the garden and going out the toilet and things. Okay. Pansy's a, a really affectionate girl as well and she's uh, very loving and, and loyal and she really um, would benefit from having owners that would be around quite a lot of the time because she really loves to be close to people.